Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny from Danny Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to make those super cute basketball ball cakes. Before we start, as always, please don't forget to subscribe so we can find me again. And this is a really, really, really cool one, guys. Um, it's a very easy way. The same way you make those chocolate bombs, you know, you have that silicone mold. Then you put the chocolate, let it dry, put it on. This is just an example um, I was making, um, actually, is a result of the bunny, <laughs> the Easter. So you can see, then I made the ball and I kind of make a circle the same size that my mold was and kind of marked where the lines are going to be. So now we're going to need to do, I have like a, it, I think it's a chopstick um, and the metal, but if you don't have any metal tool that you have, you can just warm it up. As you see, I warm it up and I go over the chocolate to mark the lines. That um, paper then I have on the bottom, then you can see all those little, you know, crazy traces. It's for me to know where I need to go. So I know that my line always is going to be there and it's going to go down to those two points. The same thing go around and across because the basketball has like three lines, you know, basically. And then the one in the middle. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm heating it up slowly and going to marking as slow and gentle as possible. Then you need to remember that if you're making with chocolate like it is, my shell um, is not thick. So you need to go very gentle or you're going to make a hole on it. But don't worry about it. Make a hole. You warm it up too much. You made a hole. Just put in chocolate again and put it in the fridge. And then I just heated up the back side, the thicker side of my um, metal uh, chopstick. And then I'm making those little marks that the baseball has. Um, this one, I wasn't showing you the whole thing, but if you guys want to start seeing a little bit more how I use the mold, I know that has tons of videos on YouTube, how people making those chocolate bombs and uh, shelves and it's the same way so i didn't want to make this video super long so i wanted to show you then this way you can make the half dome cakes that's basically half of the ball then you're gonna you know fill it up with your chocolate or your filling or whatever and then close it with the chocolate or you can make the whole thing and that's what i want to show you guys i'm using color milk um color edible color i like the color the pigmentation how easy it is and it feels just like paint so you know right up my alley so i am going to use a brush that's like um synthetic you know it's not a hair or anything like that because it's easier for chocolate and then we're gonna go over very gentle to try to be on the lines then we pre-mark the hole um that i pre-mark the hole because i think more details that are better um but if you feel like you don't have how to heat up you don't have anything metal then it's thin enough or things like that just draw on top of it you know you don't need even to use the the brush you can use an edible marker um that makes it even easier but i like to try to place as many details and a little decorations as i can so as you can see i'm going over them um with the brush and if you get a long skinny brush like you can see mine's not a tiny one it's easier to make lines than get a very very tiny one so get a skinny bristle like um a crit it's synthetic, I should say, synthetic bristle, bristle then it's a little wrong, why I can speak? It's been so much, it's been a while, guys, that I make a video for you, but don't worry, it's coming more, it's just Easter, it was crazy in here, but um, now it's all pre-coming for you guys, all set up, you guys gonna like it. I always put, after it's painted and dry, I put it back in the mode, because it's easier for me to feel it without breaking it because you don't want to break it so and i always use my mini um cupcake um pen i never use the mini cupcake pen it's just for holding molds and as you can see i'm just placing the brigadeiro the brigadeiro is a brazilian sweet chocolate then it's delicious and i actually have i think a video on how to make it in my channel 
from like years ago. And I would try to link for you guys here. Um, so I am filling with that and then um, with the cake. As you can see here, I am not going to make the half of them. I'm going to make the whole ball because it's the hardest. So the half, you are just putting the cake like you're doing and then cover with the chocolate. And that's it. Stray right there, put it in the fridge, dry, take it off. It's a half done. But we want to make the whole bowl. So I am, I put the cake and I'm going over. So it's kind of coming up of my, my um, mold. You see, it's almost both sides already filled. And now we just need to warm it up some metal pieces, a dish or something like that. So you can melt the edge of that chocolate. So the two pieces are going to glue together. I warm it up the back of my pan with my um, little fire. And now it's going to glue together. Um, take your time, but don't wait too long because you know that you need to match your lines um, and make everything perfect. If you're going to make a bunch of balls like this, I would say then it's easier for you to draw them, uh, the tra to trace the lines and the indentation after the ball is together. So you don't need to worry about, you know, them matching. But since I was just going to make for you guys to see, you can see both half and the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Any basketball lover is going to die for those cakes. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have tons of tutorials coming up. Then it's going to help you guys to make the molds and to make cupcakes, um, cake skulls, and so much more coming now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and to be here until the end. And I talk to you guys pretty soon. Bye.